Is Vero Beach good for surfing? All right, so I'm gonna make a, a quick fun video for you this week and we're gonna talk a little bit about surfing in Vero Beach, Florida. Full disclosure, I do not surf, all right? Do not surf, never sit up on a surfboard. But my husband does and a handful of our friends surf. We've been on surfing trips to Costa Rica, they surf on the weekends. So I think I know enough to speak on it and I've surveyed the audience and they've given me some feedback on surfing in and around Vero Beach, Florida. So the quick answer is, there's not a lot of great surfing in Vero Beach, to be perfectly honest. However, there are some great surfing spots within driving distance just to hop in a skip south of Vero Beach and north of Vero Beach. So let me talk about those with you real quick. All right, so my surfing friends have told me that the two particular spots that are the most well-known and the most beloved surfing spots around Vero Beach are number one, just north of the Fort Pierce Inlet or the Fort Pierce Jetty. And number two, just north of the Sebastian Inlet or the jetty right there at the Sebastian Inlet, all right? So there's a theme here, obviously. Both are just north of a jetty. A lot of it has to do without getting very technical or scientific. It, the way that the sand builds up there from that jetty being there, that structure being there, it does affect how the sand flows down the beach and down the island. So a lot of it does have to do with the collection of the sand and the sandbars that are made from those jetties. But Fort Pierce is one of the ones that my husband frequents, him and his buddies. He has a buddy who actually lives very nearby. They like to go out surfing on the weekends just um, north of the Fort Pierce jetty. There's on a good day, some pretty surfable, great waves. They can have a lot of fun and that is one of the ones that they say that they like to go and frequent. If you want to get to the Fort Pierce Inlet, there is a state park right there on um, Hutchinson Island. So you're gonna come over the causeway, there's a state park, it is a paid entry fee, but it spits you out right there, um, just north of that jetty and beautiful beaches, uh, nice long sandy beaches and great surfing. Apparently there's an old house with a Spanish tile roof there that's just really famous among, among the locals. But um, north of the Sebastian Inlet, I'm also told that it's really, honestly, a world famous surfing spot. So the world famous surfer, Kelly Slater, grew up surfing the Sebastian Inlet. Um, Frequently there are surfing competitions held there. Um, a lot of the very famous pro surfers who came out of Cocoa Beach used to come and surf that inlet. So it actually is a pretty world renowned spot to surf here in Indian River County. Again, not Vero Beach technically, but Sebastian is just north. It's the city just north of Vero Beach, Florida. All right, just to recap, Vero Beach, not super great for surfing, but Sebastian and Fort Pierce, two spots that are great for surfing. And if you're a surfer, if you're coming into town to visit, those are two places that I would recommend that you check out. If you're considering moving to Vero Beach or the surrounding area and you surf and you're looking for the best spot, those two should be on your radar. And I should be on your radar as well because I can help you look for your next home. So, um, if you have any other questions about the information in this video, or you wanna check out some of the other videos about the area on my channel, go take a look at those. Those are right over there. You can just click that picture and it'll take you to all of the videos that I have about Vera Beach and the surrounding area. Any questions, leave them in the comments for me. And if you like this little video, give me a thumbs up. Thanks, see you next week.